we want to take a moment now and introduce you to Roanoke's Teacher of the Year, the 2014 mm -hmm. Teacher of the Year. It's Matthew Newton, who um, I think you're known as Matt, or you like to be called Matt. He's yeah. a special education teacher here at Fishburn Park Elementary. First of all, congratulations. It's Thank well you. deserved. Thank you so much. Take us back to that night at the banquet here. Uh, what was that like when they actually announced your name? Well, I was really excited. I, I don't know whether it was more of an honor or more of a surprise, but uh, to have been chosen by my colleagues um, as a Teacher of the Year this year to represent um, Roanoke City has just been, it's been a huge honor and, and a blessing for me to have earned that respect from my colleagues. I'm sure it's been a lot of work, a lot of filling out paperwork mm -hmm. and doing interviews, but there is a payoff, right? There is a payoff, exactly. I am getting to move on to the next level and uh, just continue to reflect on my own personal practice through filling out some more paperwork. Um, I did receive a very generous um, gift from Interactive Achievement, um, which I'm, I'm looking forward to, to enjoying over the upcoming summer. Uh, but yeah, it has been um, very rewarding. So all the hard work has been worth it. And what does that mean to you, you know, when you hear like a, a company mm -hmm. like Interactive Achievement and all the other companies that donate stuff to you as well as the runner-ups it says something about their commitment to education does it not it especially does. teachers it does very much so it is that a company like interactive achievement and even their employees they said wanted to do um, something a little extra for the winner the Roanoke City teacher of the year this year and that just means so much the the community partnerships that we've been able to build between the city schools and companies like interactive achievement um, it means a lot for students educationally as they move through the process of going all the way through high school and then getting out into the workforce and so I want to take a moment now to, for people to get to know you. You weren't, you're not a career educator. No, this is I'm sort not. of something new to you, and what drew you to education? Well, I've been an educator for four years now. Um, this is my fourth year, and um, just being able to work with students and children and see them grow and build the skills that they need to grow and uh, become adults that can help our community work out in the field, in these businesses like we just talked about. It's just really rewarding for me to see this, not working towards um, just the bottom line, um, but working to see this, the smiles on their faces and help families and kids in Roanoke City and this valley just grow. And let's talk uh, about some of your students because they are special ed and they do face a lot of challenges, but you do see yeah. improvement. I know even Zeus is one of your favorite students. That's right. Compared to what you saw when, he, when you first got him to now and, yeah. and, and the progression of that. Well, he, um, these students, a lot of my students come and they're nonverbal. They don't speak. Um, they have to learn a communication mode and whether that is um, learning to speak verbally or through a communication device. Um, we see them start to learn academics. We start to see them learn um, socially, how to interact with people, how to not just play by themselves but to play with a friend um, and just to be aware of all the different things that we have going on here at school, whether it's working in the garden or participating in a music class or something like this. They're just really becoming um, part of the school and reaching a level that might not have been thought possible by even parents or families or those that knew them best. And I know technology plays an important role of what you do and, yeah. and maybe remind or tell folks about how the fact you're going even to MIT this mm -hmm. summer in Cambridge, Massachusetts That's to right. present. That is exactly right. I, I was really, um, I'm looking forward to doing this. A lot of the things we do in our class that integrate um, technology including computer science and, and computer programming which a lot of people don't see going hand in hand um, with adapted curriculum and special education but we found ways to do that for these students to become involved in technology and the change of the future and jobs that will be available in the future. And I am getting to go to Cambridge to speak at MIT about that in August of this year um, at a conference they're having with one of their uh, coding programs up there. And now that you've won Roanoke's Teacher of the Year, there's another competition and potentially yeah. even another competition. That's right. And I guess even beyond that, there could be even another competition. <laughs> but essentially what you do, just to let folks know, is you go to Region 6, you compete there. If you mm -hmm. win Region 6, which is <laughs> essentially this area, you then go to the state. What would that be like to move forward, whether it's even Region 6 or the state or in potentially national level? Wow, I, there'd be a tremendous sense of pride for me in doing that, and I think even more would just be um, to be able to represent our school district here in Roanoke City and to let people know. I hope to, um, as the teacher of the year, really be a representative of what we have going on here. I'm just one teacher out of many, many very good ones, and if I can show um, just a mirror or a reflection of what we're all doing here um, in Roanoke City to the rest of the state. The bigger the stage that I can get to, the more people can see the great things that we're doing in Roanoke City.
Okay. Well, congratulations once again. Thank we hope you. you move forward, and I'm sure if you do, we'll be talking to you again. Oh, wonderful. All right. I look forward to it. And we'll be right back.